glow is oh hey girl welcome back to my channel if you are new my name is jasmine don't forget to like comment and subscribe down below today i'm trying the new charlotte silberry highlighter one of you guys wanted me to try it out so i'm doing a review and i figured i would do a full face of charlotte silberry while i was at it i'm a huge fan okay like i love 95 percent of what i tried from charlotte silberry there are a few things that i not really the biggest fan of i will share with you guys what those products are but without further ado let's get into the video this is pretty much everything i'm going to use today i picked up the shade rose gold glow i was going between this one and the bronze shade but i just really really love this one so i went with it this is what it looks like on the inside so pretty disclaimer my shallow silver pencil is completely finished so i decided to use a different pencil today the next product I am going to go in with is the Hollywood Flawless Filter. This is in the shade 7 and this is literally a dream. It took me forever to get this product but once I finally did, I love it. I think it's amazing. How I like to use it is kind of like where I put my bronzer. I have some like redness over here. I don't know what's going on. What is that? Um, I don't know what's going on but I'm also like breaking out right here like... This kind of happened overnight because I did not look like this yesterday. I tried a new skincare product, so I really hope it's not from that product. Put a little bit around my mouth just for color correcting because shade 7 does have a slight peach tone to it. But generally speaking, I like to put it over here just to kind of give some dimension to my face. And then I'm going to go ahead and blend it out. I'm going to use a flat brush like this one. This brush is from BK Beauty and it's number 101. It has like a slanted edge like this. I'm next going to jump into the Beautiful Skin Sunkissed Glow Bronzer. I use this more so as a contour than a bronzer. I feel like this color works better as a contour for me. And today I'm going to try the Mary Phillips Method, which she's been really trending. I've been really trending on TikTok for doing um, Hailey Bieber's makeup. Basically, it's like contouring under your makeup, which is not new, but her like technique is trending. So she does push up here and then like, and then push up some right here. I feel like my brush is a little too big, but this is what I have to work with. Take a little brush. My nose is definitely a little harsh, so I'm gonna start blending my nose first so it doesn't look so, you know, <laughs> so crazy i'm using the side of this brush to just blend my nose in for concealer i'm gonna use this charlotte tilbury concealer this one is this is the beautiful skin radiant concealer in the shade 14. i'm not the biggest fan of this concealer i just don't like the shimmer that it has it has like i guess mica powder so it gives off a nice radiance but but I have oily combo skin, so I have to be super careful of where I put this. I like to keep it right under my eye when I use it and not anywhere that's going to get super oily. Unfortunately, today we're doing all child hair, so I'm going to have to put it in those areas as well, but it's okay. I did have her other concealer. I forget the name of it, but I honestly threw it out because I really hated the packaging you guys. The other concealer that I had from Charlotte Silberry had like a twist up apparatus. I just felt like the twist up situation did not work for me so it got so messy. I feel like I had a defective bottle because I could never twist up the right amount. It was always like too much or too little. I did like the consistency of the concealer. I just did not like the packaging. I ended up getting rid of it because it became very messy. We're gonna go in with the Airbrush Flawless Foundation. I'm using the shade 14 in this as well. I do also have the Beautiful Skin, uh, I think this is like a foundation in shade 14. So maybe I should mix them, I don't know. We'll start with this one and kind of see where I go. I'm gonna give this a little shake. I haven't used this in a while and I honestly can't remember how I felt about it. I know that Mary Phillips uses a big brush to kind of go over everything, but 
my big brushes are all dirty I am embarrassed to say I need to wash my brushes today it's actually quite embarrassing how many brushes I have that are dirty so <laughs> that is the chore of the day oh I love this oh I forgot how much I forgot how beautiful this foundation looks wow foundation looks so nice i like the under contour I do this method every so often and i always end up liking it when i was listening to mary phillips um do her makeup she was saying like her reasoning for doing it is because she likes to frame the face and create like a skeleton under it just made sense when she explained it that way like a skeleton you know like give yourself the bone structure and it literally like looks like a bone structure when you do it i honestly forgot how amazing that foundation is I'm gonna take a little bit more concealer and just focus that under my eye for added coverage. And then also like on my nose. When I think of Charlotte Tilbury, I do think of a nice glowy, youthful look. So it makes sense that a lot of her products have that feel to them. But um, as someone with oily skin, I have to be very strategic about how I use her products. Speaking of glow, we're gonna go in with the Glowgasm Beauty Wand. This is in the shade Goldgasm. It literally took me so long to get my hands on this, you guys. So long. I'm gonna use a little bit here. This is gonna be like my cream, cream highlight. I'm not gonna put it everywhere because I wanna be able to see the other highlight. I'm also gonna use my foundation. I'm gonna use this brush to blend this in. This is the same brush that I used earlier to blend out the Hollywood Flawless Filter. This is gonna give me like a natural glow. Once I use the other highlighter, it's gonna really pop. So I'm gonna take my sponge and blend out the concealer once again. I am gonna set it this time with some powder. One thing about me, you guys, me and this powder, we go way back. This is one of the first things i bought from charlotte tilbury i want to say definitely like maybe the third or fourth thing i bought i've used a lot of it over the years i'm gonna use a little makeup sponge thingy i'm using this little apparatus press this powder this is shade three by the way i use shade three for under my eye uh, I use shade 3 for the center of my face wherever I want to be like more highlighted, brightened. I use shade 3. And then shade 4 is more of my shade. So I use it on the perimeter of my face. I remember when this powder first came out, there were only three shades and the theory was that it basically like blended into your complexion to match. And it kind of did. I feel like it definitely like warmed it was like a magic powder where it like warmed up to your complexion and i feel like for the most for the most part i feel like it does but having that fourth shade definitely made it a little better you know i really like the mary phillips skeleton method what do you guys think i don't know if you guys can see the little bit of sparkle that's under my eye but it's definitely there from the concealer like i said i don't really mind it too much i just don't like when it gets to places that are shiny on me because so we're gonna take this powder bronzer this is one of my favorite bronzers of life this is the airbrush bronzer in shade four i really love this bronzer i've been using it for two years at this point honestly i felt like this came out last year but i I was watching my videos to figure out what products I had from Charlotte Tilbury because my memory is literally not the best. So I had to go look at my past videos to figure out what products I owned to film this video. When I was looking, I noticed that I got this bronzer in 2020 and I'm like, oh my gosh. After two years of using this, do you see like I have not even hit pan? Like how ginormous is this bronzer? And I use it very often. There's definitely like a dent, you know, it's a 
I'm going to use the oldest product that I've ever, this is the oldest product that I have from Charlotte Tilbury. I've never purchased a blush since this one. This is the Cheek to Chic Swish and Pop Blusher in the Climax. I don't even know if they still make this. But like I said, I don't own any other bronzers, uh, blushes from Charlotte Tilbury. So this is the one that I'm going to use. And it's a pretty color. So last time I checked, this was still the best one for my complexion. So... I'm not sure if there are any like newer blushes that I would like better anyway. So yeah, maybe I should go check her website. All right, I am gonna put a little bit on my nose. Um, just my eyelids are kind of bare today, so I'm gonna add a little bit of bronzer to my eyelid. I also noticed that I do not own any eyeshadow palettes from Michelle Tilbury. I'm not sure why that is. I feel like maybe I just have never been you know super inspired by anything but we need to change this in 2023 we definitely need to pick up an eyeshadow palette i have no idea what the quality of her eyeshadows are all right so i'm gonna add a little bit down here i have a few things that i really love from Charlotte tilbury and the mascara is one of those things i'm pretty sure i have told you guys about my love for this mascara but in case you missed it the Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes. I'm a little embarrassed because it's a little dirty, but um, this mascara is so amazing. I really love the wand for this mascara. Personally, I feel like the wand is like 90% of what makes the mascara good. Maybe 70%. Like you can have an amazing formula, but if the wand is not right, it's just, it's useless, you know? I threw on some lashes while you weren't looking. I used the Kiss. Um, these are the lashes that I use. I use the Kiss My Lash But Better. I use the Style Soul Real. I really love these. This is not my first time using this particular lash. I'm very picky about which lashes I repurchase. And I definitely love these. Now, for the moment you've all been waiting for. I'm going to try the new highlighter. This is the beautiful color. It's in Rose Gold Glow. It just looks so pretty to die for and then there's a little swatch this is like moving around in here and i'm not sure if it's because it's refillable or if it's just not glued properly so i don't know the color is just so pretty you guys look how beautiful this is stunning i'm assuming this container is refillable because it's like moving around but anyways oh my god this color is so pretty okay so the formula the formula checks every box. Formula is so smooth, you guys. Like, I have all these breakouts. It's on my net. Oh, so pretty. It's given, like, a runway model. I love this formula, you guys. It's so pretty. It doesn't look like you're wearing, like, a ton of highlight. It's very, like, I'm not gonna say natural, but it's, like, very subtle. But it's definitely, like, there. I don't know. It's so pretty. I don't know how she did that, but... It's a really nice, like, soft highlight. It's not chunky, but it's glowy. It just looks... This color is also really perfect for my complexion. Like, if you're on my complexion, definitely get uh, rose gold. Is it rose gold? Yeah, rose gold. Definitely get rose gold. It's so pretty. I'm going to add some right here. Y'all... Do y'all see that, you guys? I know I just tried another highlighter that I really loved, but this one, I don't know. I don't know. I think I like this one better. Oh, the color, the color is so pretty. I love the formula of both the new highlighters that I've tried, but this color, this color does something for me. I like that it's rose gold, but it's not too rose gold. You know what I mean? Like, sometimes rose gold can be too rosy. This is, like, a really nice rose gold with a hint of, like, bronze. And it just really, it really helps bring out your complexion if you're near my complexion. This is called the Face Architect Highlighter. And I could see, you know, where she was going with that. Oh, by the way, that highlighter easily made my top 
Charlotte Tilbury products list. Like, it's definitely on top. One of my other favorites that I love, this is probably the thing that I love the most from Charlotte Tilbury, just because no other brand has done this for me. This is the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. This is my favorite thing from Charlotte Tilbury, you guys. Like, it is so good. I do like to go back in with a little powder after my set and spray. It's just a little trick that I discovered last year and I love it for like a more flawless look. It also helps everything last longer, so highly recommend. This glow is, ooh, this glow. This is giving that fake glow, like, you know, like dewy like it looks like a fake dewy look like it's not dewy but it's given dewy because the highlighter the highlighter is it all right so we're gonna move on to lips i'm gonna use their lip liner for lip liner i'm using pillow talk 3 intense this is a really pretty highlighter i love the color it's a nice dark brown it's very rich definitely love the color love this this is one of my favorite lipsticks of of life it is super fabulous from i think it's like her nudes collection i want to say but it's a really pretty color yeah it wears really well on the lips it's super comfortable and it just stays on really nicely i'm gonna top it off with this lip gloss this is one of the i think it's a collagen line the color is peachy plump this is a product that i was a little underwhelmed by like i thought i was gonna really love this and be so excited about it you guys know i'm a lip cloth girly but i felt like it didn't do ex it didn't do what i thought it was gonna do for me but i still love it because it's a it's a pretty color it still looks really nice it's just not what i thought you know so i'm gonna put this on Hello. now that i have it on i'm like this looks really good it does look good it does have a little lip plumping situation it's a pretty color i don't always do this but sometimes i do go in with shade four this is the same powder that I use, but this is the deeper color, and I just put this right under my cheek. Specifically, like when I'm going out and I want my makeup to really look extra flawless, I'll put this on the perimeter of my face, but I don't always do it, you know? Like, I try to preserve my Charlotte Tilbury products, you know? Who am I kidding? As usual, Charlotte Tilbury always delivers. For the most part, I love everything I've tried from the brand. There are just a few products that I've mentioned to you guys that, you know, just didn't really do everything that I thought they were going to do. And I love 95% of the things that I try from Charlotte Tilbury. So, this is the look. As far as the new highlighter, definitely a win in my book. Checks all the boxes. It checks all the boxes of what I look for in a highlighter, which I love. Something that's very smoothing and just gives you like a nice flawless finish. Hate really chunky glittery highlighters this does not do that i also hate highlighters that are just overwhelmingly saturated if that makes sense i feel like there's a nice in between you know it's a very balanced highlighter it gives a lot of pigment but it's not too much if you are near my complexion i highly recommend rose gold anyways thank you for watching and i will see you in my next video bye